Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Libra, this is an energy reading. So it's not a horoscope. It's for wherever Libra energy influences your life, whether it's inside your natal chart or it's external because you're dealing with a Libra. There is always an extended reading that will articulate and pull out specifics from the energies that we start on YouTube. And that link is down below and I hope you join me. Um, please click subscribe and ring that bell so that you know exactly when I upload your favorite content because I create a new Libra video every single week. All right, let's get into it. Oh, oh Libra, 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 Libra. I had to do this in the beginning of my day because it literally the energy was in, like my energy was not going to be right until I got out this message to you. So let's see what has to happen. There is some sort of delay. It's almost like the fact that something is taking so long is taking away from the sweetness of it. Um, and this is the crowning energy. So you're still hard at work at something, but it's almost but at this point with this energy it's a it's a, almost like a feeling of thinking something's taking too long like all you ever do is work all you ever do is um you know you know uh hope for the future or think oh things are going to get better or um yeah so when is when's the break going to happen when's the big break going to happen there's a sense of yeah you like what you're doing and uh it's it's something that you feel secure in but simultaneously there's a sense of but when is it actually going to be profitable or when is it actually going to turn around and like be something that when is it going to get easier when is it going to when what when is my big break coming or when am i going to get a break there is a sense of like it's just taking too long. It's just, it's too much. It's too much work for too long a period of time. Um, it, things are moving too slowly. Now, because this is your crowning energy, I don't know if it's just that you're rushing things or that, yeah, for some reason, there's just been a delay. There's been a delay of abundance. And um, I think primarily I just feel frustration. But there's also a sense of, Maybe I just want to give up. I just want to give up. Like, like you know, I, I just, I'm tired of it taking this much labor. I'm tired of it work, working so hard. Um, and I don't feel like I'm getting all that I want to out of this. This is a sense of, um, because this energy is not bad when it's in reverse, but there is a sense of your ego um, maybe interfering a little bit with the flow of things and the fact that this is the pace of things. This is just how it goes. But there is like a hit to your ego. So that, in other words, that sense of I'm failing is not really that you're failing. It's that it's just, it, it's, it's your ego's interpretation of how things are going in your life right now. It's not really failure, Libra. You're not failing. You're working hard and that's part of the process and it's like yes we would all like to work hard for a day and be rich for 50 years but that's not how it goes so there is a reminder here of this is psychological it's not that you've actually failed it's not that that anything is actually abnormal right now uh, at least from what i see in terms of the crowning energy but that is it's getting on your nerves it's getting on your sense of self and your sense of um hurriedness like you just you you want to you you're wondering why it's taking so long why why the struggle or something that you're struggling with is persisting for as long as it has we have use your mind wisely when pigs fly this is the art of the impossible like making the impossible happen and it is quite like um i was gonna say ingenuitive creative entrepreneurial energy a sense of making the impossible real realizing the impossible uh believing that the dream isn't impossible uh but at the same time it's almost like because you're feeling this way you need more 3d reinforcements that you're not just you know jumping in uh you're not committing your energy or wasting your time um but I don't think that you are. I think that there is, since this card is upright, there is a, there is a, almost like a, um, words of encouragement here to say, this is practical. This is probable. This is, this is something that you can manifest into reality. Um, um, 
open your, like use your mind wisely. The sentence, like think about it, like look at things objectively. If you took yourself out of it, how would your life look to somebody else? If you took yourself out of it, how is your progress so far? If you look at these things as just stats and not experiences that have affected you emotion emotionally, what will you be able to see if you stepped back? Because I think it might offer you a great deal of perspective in this circumstance. Um, it, because what you need right now is perspective. It's like you're in it too deep. You're feeling it's too much. And it's, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. But hard work is heavy. And so if you just, if you just kind of step back and thought about it like, well, first of all, the work, is it is really that hard? Is it really that hard? Is it really, or is it just my ego, which is the sun card in reverse? Um, or is it just my ego telling me that things aren't happening fast enough because they happen fast for other people? I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Why is my, why is my journey so long? And it's only in comparison to others that we, that we initially start to feel, um, that we start to feel diminished or diminished, you know, like, like, like we're failing in some ways. If you stopped comparing yourself to others, if you just stepped back and was like, am I doing what I can do today? Am I doing it to my fullest capacity? All right, then that's, that's it. That's the only two checks that I need. There is a sense of allowing your mind to overcome your ego and, um, douse out any fires or alarm bells that are going off with that ego just by looking at things practically. Truth transcends illusion. This is Aquarian energy. There you go. Like looking at the facts, y'all. Um, this is something um, <clears throat> looking at what's real. Um, this energy is something that could really deceive you. It could really like twist your mind. It's almost like seven of, well, no, emotionally it could affect you like seven of cups energy. It can get very confusing because it's almost like your ego says, well, it should be here now. And really... The, the abundance isn't, hasn't, isn't ready to be there now. Um, and that doesn't mean anything bad is happening, but this could be um, delusional in and of itself. So there is a sense of when you see the truth and when you look at what's really going on, it will actually, like the two cards are coming up, like look at things more objectively and see what's really going on because that's going to alleviate a lot of your stress right now to be able to look at things objectively. Um, this is an energy, two air sign energies. This is a very playful energy. Um, this is Aquarius energy, 22. It will ground you. 22 adds up to four. There's a sense of when you see the truth and when you open yourself up to the truth, it will actually make you feel a lot better. It'll make you feel like your life has meaning and that things aren't as bad as they seem. Think on your feet. This is the this is Sagittarius energy. So it's like fueling the fire, the art of the improv. That's what this is, yo. All right, so keep going. That's what it is. It's like be playful. In other words, don't think too far. Your future, fire signs are always thinking of the future, but your future def depends on being playful today. There's also this sense of just being, you know, like saying what you need to say, feeling what you need to feel, living in the moment just to get to the next step. There is a sense of not thinking too deeply but thinking quickly so that you can be very um, agile in this circumstance. There is maybe a sense of something being revealed to you <laughs> that you're going to have to uh, improvise, but I don't really feel that. I don't feel like this is, I feel, feel like this is all internal, Libra. I feel like this is all a sense of, um, hmm, I think this, I just feel like this is all a sense of rushing and wanting and wanting the future to be right now but honestly if the future was right now and you were in the same mindset you wouldn't be appreciating it you would be you would be surrounded by energy that never appreciates what it has right in front of them because it can't focus on right now it's always thinking about I could have better or I could have more or what's what's next. And if you always think about what's next, then you're never really present in what's now. And so now is always going to seem a little bit diminished. So you could be dealing with this energy, Libra, right? Or this could be coming from you. And this is a really good conversation to have to just so that you understand where it's all coming from. There is always enough. So this is a strong sense of... 
um, come, something emotions coming to the surface. Maybe there's too much emotions right now. This is Piscean energy. But there's always, in other words, there's resources here. There's abundance. There's resources like emotional resources. There's support. In other words, there's people that believe in you. There's people who are supporting you. This is your central energy. So it could very well be that your primary sense of why you continue to move forward and not give up is because you see that emotionally you affect people and that they care and what you do matters, right? And so it's that. that now, if you focus on that every day, because what this card is saying is there's plenty of that stuff to focus on. You have plenty of good stuff reinforcing your life and your efforts to show you that, you know, in some ways, to some people's eyes, you already have made it. You've already have made something of yourself. Things are already really good right now. Based on, based on, you know, if you looked at yourself objectively or other people and how you make them feel, there's always a sense of there's so much support that's, that's in your life right now, Libra. Um... But is it coming in the right direction? It may feel heavy to you. It may be, be it may be connected to because this is a water sign too. So it may be connected to the work that you do, right? So so it's almost just for you. It's coming in as another burden, like or or you know like oh god, like I know that I know that they're being flattering to me. I know they're complimenting my work, but she's gonna also ask me to work on another project because of it. And I don't want to work on another project. I want to raise so I don't have to work as hard. And I get it. I get the mentality. But people wouldn't be asking you ultimately to work on another project if they didn't really value what you do. And there is a sense of, do you value what you do? Do you love what you do? Because if you don't love what you do, then it, you're always going to feel. And I think, I think maybe that's the real heart of this, the, what I... The real heart of this reading or the point that I want to make from this energy is maybe you don't love what you do, you know, because hard work, um, grind, you know, the grind every day, it is exhausting, absolutely, but there is a sense of if, or maybe that's my Libra rising telling me this, it's almost like if it's not fun every day, if it doesn't feel good every day, if it's not light every day, then it, something must be bad happening, something bad must be happening. And that's really not true. That's really not true. It's just your sense of wanting to always stay light and be free. That's the air sign in you versus your obligation and your psychic connection to everybody else and their needs. There's always that bit of conflict that's going to occur in you. There's always that little bit of rub and that area of haziness or fuzziness that's not going to make sense to you. That's why being objective and saying, well, okay, how how does this look like how does this look from the outside and yes they're expecting more of me but clearly that's because they believe in more of me and i also have a right to step up and say i don't want to do that much not right now thank you so much i appreciate the opportunity but i'm going to um i have to i have to i have to schedule things this way or i have to do it this way in other words find a way to make the abundance that's coming in feel good and feel um, feel, uh, feel, um, feel valuable in, to your life and your situation. Uh, the abundance universe will provide you. There's so much, this is Taurus energy, but this is usually finances. So there's a lot of money coming in Libra. There's a lot of opportunity coming in and there's a lot of material resources like 3d resources. The, the universe is bringing you a great deal. So it's almost like saying, do you know how to, will you know how to handle this when it all comes in or will you just see it as a curse? You know, it's like, cause, cause the, that, that sense of blocking that sense of, Oh, I don't want to do this is going to eventually push it away if 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 you keep feeling that way. So, ah, Virgo energy comes in to remind us how do we schedule things? How do we modulate things? How do we um, do things little by little and step by step? How do we plan out the logistics? You know, think of a Gantt chart. You know, how, what comes first, what comes second? This is an energy that you really need in your life right now so that when the abundance comes in, you don't feel like, oh, it's too much. You say, okay, I'll take this one first, 
put it here. I'll take this one first. I'll put, okay, just leave the truck road that load there and I'll handle things as they come. I can't get to everything right away. That's very, very much Virgo energy. And Virgo energy is hard at work. And it's almost like you're building something. You are building something. You have a legacy maybe that you're working on Libra. So keep going, keep doing it. But also in a very Virgo way, know that one thing comes after another. You know, why am I thinking about the plumbing when the framework isn't even up? Well, I can't, I can't. If I think about everything all at once, it's going to be a huge burden. And a, a beautiful gift that Virgo energy gives us is don't think about it all at once. Like figure out what order it all needs to happen in and then only think about the first and then you can move on to the second. And Virgos have a wonderful way of compartmentalizing their thought process to organize things and schedule things. So this is a real energy of maybe you have a Virgo in your life. And that's why you have the Virgo in your life, because they're so good at making sense of so much coming at you. But there is definitely a sense of you are building something. You are working hard and the foundation you're creating and what you're creating is solid. So more reinforcement. This could have to do with you, um, a relationship too. Uh, having, an abun having abundance in your relationship. Or your relationship being what is helping to provide you stability right now. Be at peace. Yeah, there's a sense of um, balance. Some balance coming in. This is your own energy. A sense of being able to wait, you know, um, figure out a way to find that harmony inside of yourself. And that may come from somebody on the outside of you. That may come from a friend. It may come from a partner. It may come from a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is. There is a sense of this external energy actually being what helps to balance you. And that, that is very, uh, that makes sense. It's really interesting, Libra, even though you're very cardinal energy, you have a very mutable mentality uh, to your emotions. So this is, excuse me, like with Virgo, Virgos often, they, they can schedule everything, but they need almost a reason. They need a project. They need something external to work on. What they lack is that maybe internal motivation or maybe even just like, creative though there's a lot of creative virgos but like that push they lack the push but as soon as something comes on the outside to inspire them then that's it they're driven so there is a sense of something coming on from the outside to help ground you and help you uh put everything into order or a sense of you realizing now that you need that and you have take the lead. So now this is definitely you've been tapped. This is my you've been tapped card. You know, the, the, the antenna, that's what I see it as antenna. It's not just horns, it's antenna coming down, receiving the messages and it's saying it's time. The time is right, but also that the grounding energy of realizing that you're the one you're the one out front. You're the one blazing this trail. So you're going to see the worst of things. You know, you're, you're the first responder. You're going to see the worst of everything. And the reason why other people have the ability to sort of believe in you and, and, and support you and compliment you is because they see the version that you've already smoothed out a little bit. So there, that essentially is, yes, understand that when you're in the lead, you're going to see the worst of it. You're going to see the untamed. You're going to see, you know, you're going to be hit. And maybe that's what it is. It's a sense of, of, um, and maybe that's what it is, is for, is, is remember, like, this is why it's your grounding energy. Remember that you're out here in the lead. That's why it seems like the worst to you, the worst case scenario or the, all, all the work, like you're there right when the truck comes in. Right. And, and there, there understand that that's why it's not that your position is actually bad or anything bad is happening. It's that it's, that's your perspective. That's, that's your viewpoint right now, that if you're out in front, you're blazing this trail, you're building those foundations. That's the viewpoint and perspective that you have. Um, a rebirth is assured. Yeah. So grounding your energy. And I honestly still feel like this is an energy coming outside of you is an understanding somehow that yes, things are going to change. They are you know that they're going to change. You know it. The problem is you just don't know when. Like you don't have a date marked. And I always say this to everybody that asks me, well, when? 
when you stop asking when, when you forget. It's that fo your focus determines your reality, right? Um, um, there is a sense of your being focused on the when, 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 when is making the time seem so much longer. Then we have the miracles are endless. So you're absolutely going to get, and these little things, I just get, I got my answer. Your abundance is going to be through the roof. You are going to be selected. You are going to be chosen. There is a sense though that it's built little by little. The, the little pieces are giving you the whole caboodle. It's like what you see right now as like little, little bits that you have to pick up, like little crumbs that you have to pick on, little kernels that you have to eat. They're adding up to something huge. And if you understood that and you realized it, you wouldn't feel so burdened every time something came in and needled you or nagged you or you had something else to do because you realize this is it. This is the building of your, this is the construction process. This is the building of your legacy. And if you stand back every once in a while, you will get that perspective of, oh, wait, I have come a long way. Hold on. Let's review the cards. Okay. So there you go. There is enough. Abundance is coming in. And when is when you stop asking when. That's just a really quick review. What I did want to do was show you these cards that popped out. Usually the grounding energy is, my ideal number is three, but you know, if the cards pop out, they pop out, right? Take the lead and a rebirth uh, birth is a, a short is assured in other words what you're doing right now what you're working on is the change it is changing things the change is happening as we speak and yes you are selected you are chosen a, a seen as special but it's happening in little increments and i think that that's why it's like it's not a, it's not a lottery win it's just coming in it's trickling in but it's going to add up to the big shaban like the big huge mother load and that's what that that this is that, that understanding of it, knowing it, knowing that that's the message being delivered to you and holding on to it is like, oh, now I get it. It's not, it's not passing me by. I'm actually in it right now, which is why I didn't recognize it, why I didn't see it. Let's pull a, a romance card. I'm going to give you a little bit of a preview in your romance reading. What is happening with a romance? Oh. Okay. So we have three cards that came out. One card is right here. Have faith. That's your romance card that came out. And we're going to go over to the extended. The link is in the description box to see how that plays out in the full romantic reading. But this is a sense of believe and have faith. And your, your, your sunrise is coming. This is a sense of trusting in something that seems too light, too airy, or too impractical to believe in. A sense of, yes, you can trust them. So let's move over. Go the full extended in terms of the tarot to um, extrapolate more information from this reading. And then we'll give your full uh, romance reading too. That link is below. I'll see you guys over there, Libra.